So that's another quest I'm pretty sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get away from that guy. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Regrowth Reloaded. Okay, so let's take a quick peek outside. We're a bunch of... Yeah, they're gone now. There were, if you remember in the last episode, there were a couple of, uh, of creepers that were kind of hiding out there. So they must have gone away after I logged out. Anyway, so let's take a quick look at our quest book and see where we're at today. All right, let's go in here and we're going to go into what the world came to be. We have six quests in total. All right, so Ender Ference. Uh, something power would, powerful would have been needed to remove all the ores from the world. Some sort of teleporting force that the tall slim creatures you've seen at night appear to teleport wherever they go perhaps they could provide some answers um yeah we're not going to be killing any endermen right now because we don't have hardly anything on us so we did the punching things we did the tools let's go into grasping at straws on closer inspection some small amounts of grass though dead still remain in the wasteland maybe you'll find maybe you'll be able to find some seeds or other useful materials amongst the dead dry strands. Okay, so we need to find three floral fertilizers, three pieces of clay, one bone meal, one pasture seed, and one belladonna seed. So let's go out and let's give it a shot for as long as we have daylight. And uh, there's a skeleton bobbin in the water there. There's some clay. There's some floral fertilizer, another piece of clay, this might take a while but let's see what we can do here. Oh and before we forget I want to mark our spot here too, I'm going to go into journey map real quick. And we're going to New Waypoint and Heidi Hole. Save it. Okay. That way we don't get lost. Yeah, I don't want to get too close to that guy. He may be bobbing in the water, but he can still shoot us, and that's the last thing we need. Okay, there's some bone meal. Let's add some more clay. Pasture seed, okay. Come in handy later on. There's the belladonna. Some more floral fertilizer. Let's see how we're doing real quick. So, let's see. Still showing zero on that, even though I. How much do I have in my inventory here? I have two. I need one more floral fertilizer and we have completed that task. Alright, let's keep looking. Just keep looking, just keep looking. We'll find it eventually. Stay away from the water. Just one piece of floral fertilizer is all I need. Where are you hiding at, floral fertilizer? Not 
finding anything right now. Oh, there we go. Floral fertilizer. All right, let's head back. Is it? Getting, looks like it's getting close to sunset. So let's go ahead and pick up this other grass stuff while we're out here, real quick. A little bit extra isn't going to hurt. It'll come in handy later on as you'll see what this stuff actually gets used for. Of course, it's right there by our entrance. All right. Boom, boom, close the door. Eat an apple real quick. And let's take a look at our quest book. Got everything there. We get six seeds. One carrot seed and one potato seed. Okay. What's our next thing in line? Flowering. The floral fertilizer seems to produce some interesting flowers when used on a dirt surface. So we get ten more floral fertilizer and ten bone meal. And we're going to have to keep searching until we get two mystical white flowers. Okay, so we're going to need to get some dirt. It is getting dark out. So what I think I'm going to do here is we're going to kind of dig a tunnel down until we find some dirt. Um, but before I do that, let's see how much wood do I have. Okay, I've got nine. We can take this. Make ourselves a chest real quick. Put that down. Let's put this stuff in here so we don't want to lose any of this. Because we are going to need it. Sticks, bone meal, wood ash, apples we will hold on to, materials new. We can drop those in there. I do need to keep the flint on me. Um, it, as you can see, our like our pickaxe has been used a little bit. We can repair items instead of creating something new. So you just go into your crafting bench, put your pick in there, put a piece of flint in there, and that completely repairs it. Same thing with our shovel, our hatchet, and our mattock. Um, also our sword because that's also flint. Later on, when we get better stuff, you can do the same type of thing. So if you get an iron sword, you can repair it by putting iron into, into your crafting table along with your sword, and that will repair it. Let's go ahead and let's put a torch up here real quick. And let's work our way down. Now remember, we're not going to find anything other than dirt, rocks sand there are no ores in the world our main thing right now that we want is dirt so let me dig for a while and I'll come back to you as soon as I find a nice patch of dirt okay we found a little bit of dirt here it should be enough to get us by for what we need at the moment we'll have to keep digging for more of course but let's see if we can kind of put this torch over here and let's pillar up a little bit to get to it you gotta be careful that of course with all this gravel that's also around here that we're not dumping that on our heads but it should be okay it looks like it's mostly dirt there's some red sand around here right. kind of crazy to think that you're actually mining to get dirt of all things so used to digging and trying to get iron or diamonds or emeralds something like that but none of that exists in this world yet so we need the dirt in order to grow all the seeds that we gathered earlier and all 
also to complete that quest with the mystical white flowers. So I'm gonna get this. Oh, there we go. See our shovel broke. Take that shovel, put it up here. Piece of flint. Good as new. Go ahead and grab this sand too while we're at it. Need some glass later on. Orange sand can be made into glass just as easily as regular sand. Right, let's get the rest of this dirt. And make sure we light this up. The last thing we need to is monsters spawning in here while we're in our hidey hole. So. Got all the dirt out of there. Let's go ahead and grab this sand too while we're at it since it's right there. And of course we find another patch of dirt there. Let's go ahead and grab it while we're at it. I hear a bat, so there's got to be a cave near here. Another thing about this particular mod pack that is really weird is that you can drown very easily. You literally cannot be underwater for more than a few seconds before you start to drown. So, there are other things in the mod pack to help with that, but you got to be careful that you're not digging up underneath the water pool <laughs> that if you do go in the ocean you are equipped to do so either with potions or some other type of apparatus to get you underwater safely and easily so I hear a lot of water but I'm not seeing any drips, so I don't think we are underwater. I, we're probably just because we're so close to the ocean. And just just so you know, when you're playing this mod pack, if you're playing this on your own, make sure that you get to a place where you need, where you can be by the ocean in order to play this, because there are several quests that require you to find things that are in the ocean. You're not going to find them in these little ponds of water. So um, use the seed that I'm using if you can. It's in the description below. Um, and that way you at least be close to an ocean. Or just keep trying until you get something where you spawn close to an ocean. I think you'll be good. I'm just going to... Let's see how much... Do I have any room left? Yeah, I still got room. Let me get in here and see if I can... Get the rest of this dirt. We have marble here too, which we can use for something else. Fill up to the a full stack here on the dirt. Another full stack, I should say. What am I doing? I need another 33 to get a full stack. Another 
let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Put us, yeah, now it gives us a total of five stacks of dirt. Let me go ahead and put some light down here. There we go. We can always come back for more, which we will. Okay, that's the area we cleared out to begin with. And let's see, where's my stairwell? Stairwell, where are you, stairwell? extra dirt there. Now I gotta find my way out of here. Okay, well that was a little embarrassing, but let's see what we can do now. Um, let's see, we got here. Okay, we still need to do that. So, I think in order to do that though, we're gonna have to, no, let's go ahead and get this dirt down first. There might be a monster out here. I hear zombies. Probably down in the hole here. Okay. Let's just not worry about them right now. Um, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to set up an area over here. So let me go ahead and get rid of this stuff. go and let's just take some of our dirt and lay out a little bit of land here that we can use ourselves a proper farm area here in a little while but okay we just need a little bit of dirt down here and I need that floral fertilizer okay let me go ahead and toss this dirt in here some of this junk get the floral fertilizer and cross our fingers that we can get two pure white, um, mystical white flowers out of this. So we do it like this, and now we get some purple and blue. Oh, now we got black and pink and gray. Come on. Bunch of green, another gray one. Light blue. Ah, and of course that's all of our floral fertilizer. All right, we're gonna go out to go get some more. Um, I'm also gonna go collect some wood real quick while I'm at it. And uh, let me see what I can do. I'll be right back with you. Okay. Uh, it's getting close to nightfall again. I did manage to get myself like six more pieces. Let's keep trying here real quick. Uh, green, pink, green, brown, gray, red, cyan. Come on. At least one. Last one, no luck. Okay, I'm gonna have to keep uh, digging for more uh, floral fertilizer, but I'm gonna show you a little, little trick here. We got these um, pasture seeds, and when you use them on dirt, 
it turns it into grass. So that's another quest I'm pretty sure. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get away from that guy. That was a concussion creeper. <laughs> and the problem with them is they blow up near you. They can teleport you someplace where you don't want to be. All right, let's uh, see. Do we have room in here to dump off some of this junk? No, we're going to have to make ourselves another chest. Let me do that real quick. All right, let's go ahead and put that down here. Uh, let's see if we can dump some of these flowers and stuff into there. Well, got some of it done. Let's um go ahead. I do need to grab some cobblestone. I don't need that much. I'm just going to make myself a furnace real quick. There we go. Put that down. Might help by putting it in the right direction. Come on. There we go. And we're going to have to be surviving off of charcoal in here because, well, that's all we got. Let me see. Dump some more of this stuff off. That. Drop off Bomeo Belladonna clay. Actually, I'm going to take the clay because I'm going to take three pieces of it. Because we're going to do one more quest here, and that's this one here. Buckets O Stuff. You found plenty of water pooled around the world. While it might look a little murky, it does the job and will be useful for farming. But you need a way to move it around, and maybe you'll be able to form a crude bucket with some of the clay you pulled up from the dead grass. So, we've got an unfired clay bucket. So, click on that. We can see that it's made with three pieces of clay. So we're just going to take our clay, just like we would with an iron bucket in regular one. That gives us an unfired clay bucket, which we then will put into our furnace. Just like this. And ta-da, we've got a clay, a fired clay bucket. I'm going to show you one. Oh, let's go ahead and claim our reward here. We're going to get some dirt and some bone meal. Yay. Okay. And then we will. Um, oh, that was a uh, completed unclaimed reward. So with a bit of dirt. Okay, that was the one where we needed 32 dirt and 32 cobblestone. So we get more dirt and regular stone. And then we get to choose whether we want marble or limestone. I'm going to go for marble. Go ahead and claim that one too. All right. So we'll get to some of this other stuff in the next episode, but I want to show you a little trick here. Um, this stuff here isn't really useful. From I mean, you can use it as you would planks for anything else, but it's kind of the only way you could really build with it is if you turn it like into a solid block like that, and that's what you wind up with. Is a dead wood block and is kind of uh, not really worth doing because you got you, you're wasting a lot of it. So a trick that I learned from watching Yeti Whiskers, who's playing this, is you take and you do this and you go across like that and it makes oak wood slabs. Okay, now I've got six oak wood slabs from those three pieces of that, and then you do like this, stack them up, and voila it turns it into oak wood planks so you've got an actual decent building block to work with made from those dead wood planks that we're finding outside so i will between episodes i will go out there during the daytime when it's safe and um try to get some more uh oh there we go got one of those guys hiding at the door lovely um Again, I will try to get some more of uh, the floral powder, uh, or I'm sorry, the, the floral fertilizer, and then I'm going to try to get us some um, white uh, mystical flowers, and if I get them, I will uh, 
claim the reward with you in the next episode. So until next time, this is Desert Rat. Have a good one. Goodbye.